Hey guys, so today I thought I would do a bit of a review on a product that I recently got in the mail. And this I bought, um, hopefully the camera will focus, uh, or not. Um, I bought an E3D version 6 nozzle. Just the nozzle, not the entire hot end, because I'm kind of working on a budget here. And um, since the channel isn't exactly big enough for like fan funding or anything, I kind of have to pay for everything out of my pocket. And my pockets aren't very deep. So um, I just got the nozzle, and my hope was that maybe I'd be able to get some of the good performance out of the nozzle that I know that people get out of the entire hot end. And of course, the hot end is significantly more expensive than the nozzle. I happen to get this off of Amazon, and um, it, it came within a couple days, and it was great and everything. Um, and I I, it was on sale for $20, so I'm like, I can't pass this up. Even I can afford this. Um, I think, believe it's normally like 50 or something like that, but if you can, get it, get it now. Um, from what I can tell, this is an exceptional nozzle. Um, I, this, the one that I got is stainless steel, and I will show you some pictures and such of it in a minute, and also printing this. Now, I decided as a test print, I would print a very small TARDIS. Um, Indeed, this should be about should be about 20 millimeters, almost right on the money. Should be about yeah, like about 20 millimeters, um, in all sides. So and it's also about uh, let's see, it's about 40 something, 43 millimeters tall. If you're curious, because um, it has, as you know, if you're a Doctor Who fan, obviously, the top of this does not want to focus which really sucks. I'll include a picture of it. But at the very top here, uh, where I'm pointing with the red laser, at the very top here, you know it says police box, and the nozzle is actually fine enough to have picked that up. And that is exceptionally small, like I said, I'll include a picture. Um, and um, it printed it, and in fact, according to the software, it could have been able to print it even finer than that. This is the first print that I actually I did with it, and I've since made some adjustments, hopefully, on the better side. However, I also wanted to talk about some of the problems that I've already had with it in printing. One of the the biggest problems is adhesion. In fact, uh, layer adhesion and also bed adhesion. When I took this off the bed, this this particular print actually stuck to the bed all right, ish. Um, however, the layers in this are just terrible, and that is because um, something that I I didn't know that I found out now. Um, is that it seems to me that you actually, I don't know if it's just because I got the 0.25 millimeter version of this nozzle, or just, it's just a characteristic of them, period, but if you get the 0.25 millimeter version, rather than, I think it's like the 4.4 millimeter version, you might have this problem, and that is a terrible bed adhesion. No matter what I did, um, I think I finally solved the problem. If you do get this, uh, what I did was I basically adjusted the nozzle to where it is touching the build plate um, when it first starts printing and I happen to have a PCB perf board bed go ahead and show you and um, I basically adjusted it towards touching it and there's a bunch of um, a bunch of very tiny holes that you may not be able to make out in this bed so essentially the first layer gets pretty much eaten up and it fills in these holes and then from that it starts printing on top of that and that seems to work all right i've never had problems with bed adhesion for this ever before so it's kind of weird that it's happening now but um other than that i have I'll go ahead and show you as you can see it's actually printing something for another project um, but there's the nozzle installed on the printer and it it does you will get significantly finer quality results and that and it may just be because I got the 0.25 millimeter version but my understanding is these hot, these nozzles and hot end assemblies are very good and for my limited experience here I have found that to be true however a couple things I will caution you about when you get this again I don't know if this is just the fine nozzle being it super fine 0.25 millimeter or just a characteristic of all of them is that I have uh, I, there are some huge disadvantages of it um, 
I'll start with the ones I knew were because it's a fine nozzle, and that is you can't print very fast. You have to slow down your printer speed, so if you're one of those people who are just trying to print super fast, you're going to be limited by this. Also, you cannot, I can't seem to print anything, any resolution greater than 0.15 with success. This TARDIS was printed at 0.06, so you're going to have to wait a lot longer to get your prints because it just can't feed as much filament through. But in return for that, and it's really hard to see on camera, which really sucks, wish it was a bit better, you get an exceptional amount of detail, and, you know, I'm, I'm fairly impressed with it. I would say um, maybe the 0.4 millimeter version is a little bit better. I really don't know. I, I'm, you know, it's kind of a experimental thing, but this one that I got, I'm really enjoying it, and um, anyway, uh, I think that it is definitely a very good buy if you want to buy it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and have a very nice day.